Hello and welcome to Frotch on Fighting. My name is Carl Frotch. I'm a four-time super middleweight world boxing champ. You already know who I am. Right, listen, this is an exclusive for you. I'm, as you can see, I'm in Cardiff in Wales, the Principality Stadium in the background. I will be travelling over to a filming site in a minute. That's better light, isn't it? I've got a couple of grey hairs coming through, actually. I didn't realise I had them. Anyway... I'm going over to do a bit of filming with Shia LaBeouf, Toby Cabal for a film we're working on called Salvable. So I'm going to try and get an exclusive. I don't know how much time I'm going to have. So I'm doing my opener now. This is Frotch on Fighting, as you know. This episode is brought to you by Cobra Casino. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And hopefully we'll have a bit of good footage for you with Shia LaBeouf. I want to talk to him about King Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney at the weekend. What a great fight it was. Shia LaBeouf had a few strong opinions about Ryan Garcia. And I just want to know what his thoughts are now following that epic win at the weekend. Enjoy. We're remote. Remote Frotch on fighting and go. Following on from the amazing interview you gave me on Frotch on fighting. Good, pretty good. This is actually Shia LaBeouf. Look, he's got himself a new barnet. You're getting a bit of an exclusive here. But anyway, I want to ask you, following on from a question on Frotch on fighting in New York, you I asked one? you about Ryan Garcia. Yeah. So Ryan Garcia's... Personal side, yeah. what do you reckon to Unbelievable. His, his performance? Spellbinding. Tell us what you think. Come on, let's have a look at that. And you know, you know I'm not a fan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was such a great fight, it gave me hope. Give you hope. It gave me hope. Yeah. Because he, you know, you know how I feel, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it and it and it it's it, it was such a it was such a, a great it's the first I, I've never been um speechless in yeah. a fight like that. Never in my life. Because there was no way in hell he was going to win that fight, in my purview. Because you were expecting he's not no, winning that fight. No, there's no way he was going to win. What? Just did you? Do you? Think... I bought into the hype of boxing. Yeah. Everybody in boxing, you thought the same thing. Did Nobody. You, did you think he was not prepared for the fight? Not training. Not prepared. Didn't care about boxing. Drinking, just wanted to be famous. Drugs. Drinking every day. Yeah. yeah. What I know about the fighting game, it's a prepper. It's a. You're only as good as you prepare. Yeah. Yeah. You totally thought he was. Done. Completely unprepared. Yeah, he's walking in. Do you think it was a con job? Do you think he pretended? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. It's 4D chess. Just so good move. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. And I'm a hater. Yeah. You know, but You're not a hater. But, well, not a, ha not a hater. I, it's not the boxer. Right, it's, not, a, it's not the boxer. It's yeah. the it's the it's the it's the behavior. And it's yeah. the lukewarm Christianity, right? Like Usyk. Yeah. That's that's my guy. Yeah, it's quite deep. Yeah, that's it? that's my guy. And his Christianity is attractive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's not lukewarm like. Like I, I, I got to stop judging. That's right. That's the lesson I learned from yeah. this whole thing. As a man, yeah. I got to chill on my judgment. Yeah. It's crazy. But a person's character and the way a person behaves and conducts himself outside of the ring is different to what he does in the ring. And in the ring, he, yeah. in the ring, un, uh, incredible. Yeah, warrior. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. He, he was under. He was under a lot of so much pressure. Pressure. Yeah. Everyone thought Devin Haney's too big, too quick. Too, he's not so much too big. But when you look at it, with Haney. See, now, but the thing with him is Haney never. All the people Haney beat. All the Haney, people Haney beat were smaller than him. Did he beat Lomachenko? No, never. No he way. Got, he that's, got the win. And that's why that's why Haney can't get a rematch. So now. can we now question Haney's chin, his punching power, his ability? Yeah, but I was on that a while ago. As I'm a tank right, fan. Yeah, I'm yeah. a tank fan. I was never a Haney fan, but yeah. I liked the way he was professional in the lead up. Yeah. I thought for sure, like I, I respect the the yeah. his the pro in him. Yeah. But the Lomachenko mm -hmm. thing, that's when I that's when I was no longer. You, you can't ask for a rematch from Garcia if you're not going to give Lomachenko a, Lomachenko a rematch. Yeah, true. Because he beat the fuck out of... He, he beat the sh out of Lomachenko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Don't well, you think? Hang on, Lomachenko beat Haney. Yeah, that, Lomachenko yeah. beat Haney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't well, you think? I, I scored it that Lomachenko won the fight. For like, sure. Quite a considerable amount of rounds. For sure. But Ryan Garcia, King Ryan, the king is back. I've said that. Congratulations. You've got to give him his, you've got to give him his drop. Salute. So Salute. What does he do now? He's at 140, he 243 pounds. Well, now he's making pop music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Rematch with yeah. Um, Tank... Davis. He'll, he'll, never Davis. he'll never get it. No? No. You can't lose like that and get a rematch. Nope. Well, he took himself down to 135 pounds to fight Davis, drained himself. That's part of the game. It's part of the game, but it's not his weight. So he took the weight down. So how about Tank Davis? Why would Tank up? take that fight? Why didn't he come up? Why would Tank ever take that fight? Because he beat a drained man, drained at the weight. He, he made the decision. He decided yeah, to fight yeah, that guy. Stand by a conviction. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, you yeah, made that decision. You can't now now go back on it. A loss yeah, is a loss. Yeah. No, Tank should fight cool. Shakur. Yeah, it's called Stevens. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, That's, the big fight. Fight. That's, That's the fight. That's the fight. That is a big fight. But no. Well, Frank Martin will be a good fight. Yeah, true. All right, give me a hug. Yeah, man. Let's have another look at you. I need this barnet. I need to... We're oh, not yeah, going to give any... We're not going to give anything away, but... Nothing away. This okay. is... Um, 
This is Vincent. That's the Nerf helmet. We're working That's on a bit of a film. That's the Nerf helmet. Watch this space. Charles Booth, exclusive. King Ryan Garcia. Salute. You've redeemed yourself. Salute. You've redeemed yourself. Big love. God bless you. This has been Frotch on Fighting, and he walks off into the distance like the Incredible Hulk, the final scene, the Lone Ranger. Charles Booth, aka Vincent. Cobra Casino. <laughs> So there you have it. That was um, Shia LaBeouf's opinion on King Ryan and Devin Haney. What a great fight that was at the weekend. King Ryan, I mean, I'm not going to talk about him anymore. We've said enough. We've blew enough smoke up his arse. So Shia LaBeouf obviously knows his boxing. He loves his boxing. That's why I don't mind talking to the Cobra. But um, there's not much happening in the upcoming. This weekend, there's nothing happening at all. The only thing I'm looking forward to is um, Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk. It's going to be a great fight. Still really excited for that one. May 18th. Um, out in Saudi Arabia, the kingdom. But um, until then, there's not a great deal happening. So I want to ask you, who do you think I should get on? And don't be silly. I know I can get the odd occasional Hollywood A-lister, but let's keep it sensible. I was thinking maybe Mikel Kessler. We've shared 24 rounds in the ring, not, not lumps out of each other, and I keep in touch with him. So I'm thinking Mikel Kessler could be a big chat. But you let me know what you think in the comments below. I do look through them. I appreciate you all. And um, yeah, for now, this has been another episode of Frotch on Fighting. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.